everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Pamela. It's a... It's, I think it's an open world survival game. I know it's a survival horror-ish game. Kind of sandboxy? I don't know. Uh, fair warning before we begin. This game has the uh, reputation of crashing a lot, so bear that in mind with me playing this. We're probably going to crash a couple of times, and, you know, if you are going to pick it up, watch out for that. Obviously, though, this is day one, so hopefully they fix this soon. So, I don't know. Uh, if you guys are looking at this months down the line, please just read the reviews and see what, see what people have to say about whether or not it's stable. Anyway, new game. Um, okay, that was an incredibly long load screen. So, Cryobay 01. Huh. Neat looking Cryobay. I move really weird. Okay. Uh, so no signal, no nothing. Open up our menu. Our menu. Ooh, this looks nice. S status map, data pad, Pamela. Alright. Nothing useful. Oh. Visit data pad for further information. So I scanned a trash can. Good stuff. What's this? Cryo bay requires a cryo core. Oh, I can punch. Okay. Yeah, movement feels really weird in this game. Oh, E? R to scan, maybe? Okay, I've scanned it. Now what? Uh, is there like... Ah, there's a flashlight. Awesome. This game looks really nice. Reminds me of Subnautica in a lot of ways. Already. Uh, the nice visual style. So on and so forth. Oh. How do I... The... Oh. I kind of don't want to get near that. So it looks like something real bad happened around here. I guess let's take a look at some of these other places for the time being. Uh, scan these. Oh, I can open it up. Okay, so we've got a security helmet. Uh, IVG storage upgrade. And an upgrade cell. Alright, let's take all of them. Equip attachments and inventory. So we've got a helmet at the very least. What I'm looking for is a weapon, probably. I mean, I can punch. Let's see, anything else I can scan here? Oh, Arc Medical. Really? Huh. Can't use it. Maybe I need to be injured first. That'd do it. Yeah, there's a lot of these, um, these, like, sealed chambers. Okay, uh, what even? Gurneys. Gurneys with, like, weird things. I don't know. Anyway, let's check inventory for a second. Can I hi? Alright, so I can equip that on my head at the very least. Let's see, use equip. Oh, okay, so that's just a backpack upgrade. And so eventually we'll be able to get these and stuff like that. So loadout, dorsal. Shield-like gadget. I don't know. Okay, I can punch. I also don't know what this is. Oh! Let's close this out. We got an upgrade point, didn't we? Maybe that's something I can spend at Pamela? No. We had, like, a purple thing. And I was hoping that I'd know what it was. I think this game needs a tutorial pretty bad. Uh, just so we have, like, an idea. Color override. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's... Oh. Oh, no. Nope, it didn't. Alright, uh, can I save? No, I can't. Oh, that's bad. I don't know how to get this thing to save, but we're gonna... Oh, interesting. Door stays open. Alright, let's just keep checking these for the time being. Did, did I... 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, this game uh, tends to freeze. And... Kind of follow its own rules, which are scary. A cryo bay requires a cryo core, nothing particularly useful. It'd be nice if the things that I could interact with were labeled in some manner. Just for convenience. It's a little bit hard navigating through all the junk. Actually, it reminds me visually uh, very heavily of Killing Floor, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, hello, what's this? I keep punching things I'm trying to pick up. I have no idea what I just got. Still punching. I will continue to punch. There's nothing There's nothing that I will not punch in this game. Okay, so we had that freaky looking person. I'm just trying to give it a pass. I'm probably going to have to go in slugging. I'm just going to keep scanning those. Okay, oh, switch modes. Oh, what's this? It's a constructor. Pulse region, target durability. So that's probably a repair tool. Okay. Let's put the scan tool back away. It seems, it seems neat. A bit of a slow start, but that's because I'm a complete wuss. Interestingly enough, I'm the only person around here. Except for maybe that one dead person that's standing there, which is very worrying. Okay. Can I open it up? No. Doesn't look like I can interact with it. Feels like I should be able to interact with, with like, some of these things. Okay, I guess... It's about time we get in a fist fight with a, uh... A horror creature? Ooh, Kale. Why is there just Kale there, and we just absorbed it? Okay. That's weird looking. Hey, do I have anything else? I mean, I'm glad I've got the security helmet. It's just totally locked into place. I'm gonna keep looking. I feel like I should be able to grab a bottle or something, just clonk it over the head. I'm just glad it's not coming for me. Okay. Well. Oh, jeez. This guy had a bad day. Died recently, though, interestingly enough. Oh. So she's just dead. She's not actually... Okay. Feeling better now. Mostly. Not really. It kind of looks like the, the fungus stuff from, uh, from The Last of Us. Interestingly enough. Can we scan? Nope. At least the scanner thing actually shows us when and where we can scan something. Alright, so there's some bubbly soda. Seems a bit silly to me. Just listening for stuff. I'm... I don't know, this game seems spooky enough that... Oh, hey. Shortly after I awoke, I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. What is this thing? Probably for scan- oh! This one can be opened. Okay, so we get a security helmet and a vanishing shield. Stealth shield has enhanced capacity, and when depleted, conceals the user for a greater amount of time. Okay. So I've got a vanishing shield. That's interesting. And uh, that was going to freeze for a second there, and the answer is almost did. I, I'm a little bit worried about uh, crashing and stuff like that. I'd like to figure out how to save before I go too far. So we want to go back through just very temporarily. We've got these cases. Okay, so by scanning them, we can figure out if there's something inside. It's weird that we have to scan them beforehand. And this one's locked. Oh.
Okay. <sighs> A warning. Security response chance. That's concerning. I wonder if it signs a, uh, it like, s sets an alarm or something like that? That'd, ooh, that'd be scary. Is it just me or did it get darker in here? I feel like the lights have gone off. Okay. Shortly after I awoke, okay, I so asked we've already... the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. We've already heard that one. What about this one? Oh, hello. Possible contamination emergency broadcast garrison official. Alert. Oh, God. Why is this in red? Possible widespread contamination. Many reports have been received in the recent days that are indicating a possible affliction of unknown origin and effect. We're advising residents to remain uh, within their homes whenever possible and to maintain distance with all unnecessary individuals. Arc Medical and Biostera are currently investigating the scope of the contamination and have asked anyone with these symptoms to immediately report to the Arc Clinic. Chronic migraines, fatigue, stiffness, soreness of joints, abnormal growths. It is asked that you please remain calm. Any and all illnesses will be quickly resolved once we discover the root cause of this incident. Okay, anything else? We've got a bunch of state and emergency declared. Nothing in there. What's this? Some luck. Some money. So there's a there's a shop system in this game. Alright. Anything else particularly interesting around here, or can I go? I'm just afraid I'm gonna immediately have to go into like sprint run mode and like kill the game. They were looking for anybody on the move. I'm spookled. I'm extra spookled. Okay, come on, seriously. Um, I don't know what that means. Please don't go beepity beepity at me. I'm also just being really cautious and quiet. Maybe once we get outside, this will get a bit easier. Let's see. So that has nothing in it. Yeah, so I have to scan them first before I can loot them. That's really odd. Not a big deal. It's just an odd decision, I think, as far as everything is considered. Oh, we got another weird pseudo-dead person. And a dead robot there. She doesn't look as dead as the other ones. The other ones had crazy growths. She's just gray. Looks like we've got another lore screen too. Or lore module. This is a sweet ass clinic. And or hotel or something. Where are we? I thought for a second we were in like a hospital. But, like, we've got these kind of weird, like, somewhat sexy receptionists, which is really weird. And, like, this crazy lounge. Like, I would expect people to... I, I would expect there to, this to be, like, a bar or something. Well, scan the cash res register, I guess. Nothing there. Okay, what killed the robot? Please don't kill me. I'm down for avoiding fighting for at least a while. So, tasty paste, spinach seed packet. Oh, seed packets and a lemon. Yeah, do we have any kind of, like, idea of, like, hunger, thirst? Stuff like that. It's a concern of mine. I think these are supposed to be bathrooms. But they haven't fully modeled them. Alright. Come on, seriously? Can we jump? Okay. Is there seriously no way for me to get back here? Huh. Yeah, there's these doors, but no dice. Okay, I was thinking I could get behind the counter and maybe find something. But we're out of luck. 
Okay, and we're out of stamina, too. Oh, do I have a, like, a limited stamina meter that, de uh, that, like, the maximum total goes down? Maybe. Well, let's see what this is. A new wing was added to ARC Medical. The permits state it is to further research the decaying genetic material found in residents. Okay. What's this? I don't know. Let's see, if I run this, will it actually show me scannable? Scannable things in the area? Nah. I was really hoping it would actually give me like, this is where the interactables are. Here's a crowbar. Congrats. You'll survive. I don't know. This, I, I'm actually, now that we're getting a little bit further, like, uh, initial, uh, initial impressions were Subnautica, but I might be getting a bit of a Dead Island feel to this. But I think it's just because it's dark hotel lobby. It's like the same women over and over and over again. I'm just afraid they're going to start moving. Because I know they do. Or I know they can. Maybe not those, but still. Okay. Whenever the sun rises and the cyanotrope begins to glow faint blue, I'm reminded that only a day, not a decade, has passed. Okay, so I'm starving. Oh! So we can actually see our basic statistics there. Alright, uh, energy cell, where's my food paste? Tasty paste. Do right click to use? Okay, you're no longer starving. And we're no longer thirsty. Okay, so taking too long here is going to screw me up. Okay, we're in a good spot, though. Uh, let's keep scanning our way through things. So that's what those beep de beeps are. Unfortunately, I can't see it on my... Uh, just interface straight up, but I guess it should be okay. Uh, let's see. I can be a little braver. It doesn't seem like anything really wants to bite my face in yet. I'm just hoping we get a weapon before things start getting bitey. Probably. Uh, okay. Can we leave Nonsense Scary Land yet? It's on the other side of this. Bodies. Looks like just non-stop bodies. Okay, so that'll open that up. I don't feel quite comfortable going outside into the wild yet. Can I loot this tree? This tree looks, uh, ugh, old. Keep expecting to see, like, z a zombie horde just coming after me, and I'm like, I would like to avoid that for as long as possible. I'd like to play a survival game at some point where, like, literally there's no nothing. There's nothing dangerous, it's just, uh... It's just kind of, like, spooky environment like this with, like, weird mystery. I don't know. I'm just hoping this isn't one of those, like, uh, survival... Ooh. I wonder if this has permadeath. Left button to attack. Now that's a good sign. Left alt to block? Huh. Alright. Can I have... Okay, space plus a direction to dodge. So something up ahead wants me dead. Oh. He does. Alright. I'm just gonna start slugging the shit out of him. You're going down, Mr. Ah. Okay, I'm out of stamina. Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm not entirely comfortable, but that's fine. I'm just gonna slug the shit out of you. Okay, he's probably dead, considering I can loot him. I like that about games. When you can... When you can just loot the dead. Okay, so stuff is slightly less scary than it was. Let's keep grabbing. Well, we're gonna have a lot of money by the time we're done with this. Okay, so I can fight them one-on-one -on -one now. 
Is that him? Die already. I really can't tell if he's still alive or not. Horrifying. Okay, uh, oh, so if we, nope. I was hoping that I could just mash E to take all. Fast looting would be nice. Bigger flashlight would be nice too. Okay, we got a bunch of lootable equipment here. Is any of it viable? We're getting a lot of energy cells. So that probably means we're into stuff. Okay, so this would heal me. Nope, wouldn't. Okay. So that's probably a medical syringe. Garrison. Now this feels like a weapon. And of course is locked. Says security alerted. Is there any? Maybe it's not so bad. I don't have any bypasses. Ah, uh, it's so fast. I give up. Security alerted. Okay. Well, if that gets me killed, then that's fine. I don't mind hacking. Yeah, it's just him still making that noise. I don't mind hacking minigames, but that's maybe a little bit too quick for me. Right now, I don't know, I just woke up. I was not expecting, like, fast, spinny nonsense as the first thing I had to interact with. What, there's something, like, orangish up here. Oh, must have just been a trick of the light. Well, I, we, failed at, we failed at hacking. Hopefully we can either get something that slows it down. That'd actually be really nice. Or an ability of some variety. Or something. Okay. Oh, you. Where'd you come from? Let's see. My stamina wheel is lower. Why is it lower? Is it because I'm tired? It's probably because I'm tired. That's worrying. Okay, let's open up some inventory and manage things. So we've got, what's this, orange juice? I can't I put that this in my video. Oh, because we're limited. On space. Okay. Uh, what do we have? What are these things? Energy cells, water bottles, canteen. Oh. Okay. Uh, so let's close out of this for a second. I assume we're safe for a little while. Uh, so how's our, how are our stats? Oh, so we actually have like a health regen. And max fatigue. Let's open up status for a second. Uh, let's take a look. So why are my max fatigue? Why is it limited? Not really tell me. Telling me. Okay, let's go inventory for a moment. Let's see what we got. So I got a security helmet plus versus a security helmet. Okay, so plus is probably better. All right. Drop that. What are what are these? Flux. Agility and clap for a time before in inducing withdrawal. Flux plus plus. A vanishing shield. What's this? Medical. Okay, so that's... That's for healing. Grapes. I'm just going to eat some grapes for a moment. We've got a canteen. Okay, so I might be able to get that shield. Though I don't entirely know if the, it's like a shield generator or what. Can I pick up both? I can. Okay. Visit data pad for building procedures. Let's check that out. Uh, let's see. So July... 
I have no idea. Key codes, nothing. Events, nothing. Encyclopedia, nothing. Oh, tutorial. Movement of menus, WSD, okay. Interaction. Search, build, and repair. Combat. To use such weapons, reload while aiming a weapon. Block, alpha 3 utility. Q to use Pamela abilities. Building. To build a base, first collect a power transmitter and ion core. You'll need to insert an ion core into the power transmitter. Open the IVG by pressing R and then T to switch to build mode. Highlight a buildable object from the list. Middle mouse button to select it. Place an ion core inside a power transmitter to supply power to it, allowing you to build within a radius around the transmitter. Okay, so that's that's going to have to be something for much later. Uh, let's check inventory again before we go too far. I'm getting braver. <laughs> Bear with me while we work on that. Shield pylon. Type buildable. Oh. So it's an energy shield for like a base. Okay, well, I'm going to throw this on. Um... So I have a functional shield. I just want to take a look at this. Reflects damage, prevents stuns. So... Okay, so I can, uh, I can block now. I mean, I can always block, but still. Oh, that's aim. Really wish melee, uh, when you had melee, right click was block. Make my life easier. Okay, so let's let's see if we can find anything. I can't wait until we're out in the brighter lights. Hopefully we get like a flashlight attachment or something. Something that makes it a little bit easier to see it in the dark, really. Because I just know there... Uh, I just know there's some kind of goon hanging out around here. I just can't see him. Are they coming for me? Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm just listening for audio cues. Because, yeah, we've got the world's worst flashlight here. And it's not helping my case. Okay. <sighs> oh. Wow, this is useless. Okay, let's see if I can open up the data pad. Uh, documents. Chat logs, no. Diaries, no. Echo 1. Shortly after I awoke, nope. I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel so we haven't gotten the rest of that. Okay. So we've already got that, so this is probably enhanced temporal formula. Following the recent analysis of emotional trends and stress factors, it's been decided to further improve the current temporal formula. In order to achieve this, both ARC Medical and Biostera are currently collaborating. Seeing as the formula was originally invented in the early 2020s, or 2200s, this will mark over three decades since the original invention and introduction. Great strides have been made since this original iteration, increasing the effectiveness from 32% to 74%. However, given the recent riot in the promenade last month, we are investigating adding a mild sedative to the formula to temper advanced stages of frustration. There are concerns about the potential for withdrawal following the cessation of taking the temporal formula. Vice Chair Alexa assures us it is a non-issue. Residents are heavily encouraged to keep doses consistent. If a resident did skip a dose, the flooding in of emotions may prove debilitating. A person in such a state would immediately be recognized by seekers and removed for rehabilitation. This outcome would further enforce the dependence on temporal, but it is critical for a peaceful society. So this is like a giver situation. Okay, well, seeing as we know where the cr uh, critters, the crawlers, the, the infected are, really. Let's check out this direction momentarily. Because at least you can hear them. Of course, I gotta be kind of quiet here and there. Just in case one does show up. Because I have to kind of keep my ears out. At least we know they're not coming for me, which is kind of nice. Okay, nothing in that ca cash register. What about this one? 
Nothing here either. Okay, anything in you? I don't mind... <sighs> Scratch this. The Inferno difficulty. I... Ugh. I'm, I'm not good at hacking. I'm not good at, like, speed minigames. I'm tired. I just woke up. I'm here to get my spookle on and not play, uh, reflex hacking minigames. We'll have to get some bypasses or maybe it gets easier as we go along. Maybe it's, like, a skill-related thing. It'd be nice, actually, to play one of these games with, um, with, like, a Bethesda-style leveling system. That'd be really cool. I punched Originally, it again. Jacob would converse with me every day, even insisting on being called my creator. I only understood the concept years later. Okay. So I've noticed my stamina has go gone down. I don't know how to increase it. So we've got at least one of them over there. I'm a bit scared of that. Because <sighs> I'm not in a good position. Okay, an IVG storage upgrade, that's good. Gonna need more of those. I wonder if I could just leave. Can I just go out the front door? No, I can't. Okay. I'm gonna lure this one in. If I only have to fight one at a time, that's good. Okay, let's try blocking first. Ow, what? How did... How did we... What is going on? Okay, let's hold the shield for a second. And roll in punching. Okay. Is she dead? Okay, she's dead. Let's pick up all items you can't neutral drink. I don't know if that's multiple people. Okay. And that formula is still there. Frustrating. And unfortunate. Oh, these sound effects are not great. Okay, so we're a little thirsty. Luckily, supposedly we have health regen. What do we have? Canteen? Enough water for two uses remaining. We've also got like a... Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's stealth related. Uh, oh. Let's use that. That might actually... That might be enough. Okay, these... These sound effects are starting to get really... I have enough inventory sp space for this. Can I not eat these nuts? Why can I not eat these nuts? Okay, let's try moving the fizzy drink over here. Okay, this lady does not want does not want me to handle her nuts for whatever reason. It's giving me the oh, okay. There we go. Got it. That's weird. This game needs a lot of work. I don't mind it yet. I think she's got multiple audio tracks. That's weird. I really hope they fix that so that dead. Dead ghouls? Dead... I, dead infected? Don't just make constant noise? It, it makes it really hard to tell if there's anybody else around. Okay, oh, this is the way I came through. So we've looped back, which might mean there's more. Yeah, we also gotta find a place to rest. Okay... What do we got over here? So this was the cryo clinic. Why is the cryo clinic the one with all the dead bodies around you? Oh, unless they were trying to freeze half the people that were infected? Until, yeah, actually that would make a lot of sense. You freeze the people that are infected. So this is like a checkpoint here. But yeah, you freeze them until you get a proper solution. Guess that would make sense. Okay, so we got stairs up. I really wish there's a light switch I could flick. Because I don't mind fist fighting with things. 
It's locked. Let me guess, this one's... Also hard? <sighs> I give up. I'll do hacking later. I just... I, I've never been good at those. I was terrible at them at Chuck E. Cheese's as a kid, and I've, I'm terrible at them now. It's even worse now, honestly. Because as a kid, I had the willing willingness to do them. Now, oh, it's, it's a locked... What? It's a locked trash can. What kind of weird nonsense is this? I have no idea. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna get in a fist fight with the robot. Your vitals are critical. You have perished. Okay, so it turns out getting in a fist fight with robot is not a good idea. Seek out garrison outposts to find rare and more powerful weapons. Oh, so we leveled up. Uh, reawaken. Okay. Uh, what just happened? I mean, obviously I got us killed. Me killed? Uh, like a wing nut. Let's see what happens. So is this one of those where it kind of rogue legacies you? You die. You start over, but you level up every single time. That could be interesting. I don't know. I'm just, uh... I, I'm... I'm... Bam... Bamboozle fu I don't know. I don't know how to put like words into this. Like, it's a neat game, but I'm also like really confused. And I don't know. Anyway, superior hemoglobin. So max fatigue versus uh vendor discount. Well, we haven't found any vendors, so let's add one to that. Uh so we've got to have GPL level five. Okay. I'm just going to keep putting points into max fatigue, seeing as that was kind of my limitation. Okay, so respawn menu. Oh! So, Arc Medical Bay operating. So all of, the, all of these other places won't work for the time being. Difficulty medium. So Arcadia Towers is where we want to go. Difficulty easy, medium, medium, hard. Okay. So if I spawn at Arc Medical Bay, is it just the same thing a second time around? Might be. Well, that's... This is neat, actually. I, I dig it. Now that I'm kind of getting into it, uh, I'm going to be a little bit braver uh, the next time around. We're definitely going to need to invest in some lockpicking. Oh, I should have paid more attention there. Um, I only looked at the ones that we had, but there's a very real possibility that maybe we can get get a perk or two that boosts our lockpicking ability so those aren't impossible. That'd be nice. I'm digging this, actually. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to, and you gotta get past the, um, the horror element and the the weird hang-ups and crashing and lo loading issues and whatnot. But that's not the end of the world. Uh, like, obviously, they've got a functional game, it just needs to be a bit stabler, and if they can get that working, this actually looks like it might be a decent title. Okay, so we're in the same boat as last time. I assume we have none of our stuff. Ugh, that data log is still there. Yeah, so inventory is totally empty. Ah, but our inventories, uh, our inventory upgrades per persisted as well as that one purple thing. Well, that's neat. All right, I want to check Pamela for a second. So we have C cell level. So discharge or guidance. It'd be nice if I knew my my uh, fatigue though, because that was a problem. So we need compute skills. To get whatever Pamela is. Oh, my money! Transfers over too. Because we have 736 Lux. Well, this is slick. So it's kind of permadeath, but it's kind of not. Okay, so we don't want to run around too much. Actually, honestly, what we want to do is uh, bop out and... Or not bop out, but uh, stop. What? Huh. Well, let me do that. Okay, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, probably call call it quits on this episode. Mainly just because I do want to play more. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just we've been going for you know almost forty minutes here, and I'd like to uh, I, I'd like to actually 
you know, try again tomorrow, hopefully with maybe some stability patches. Or actually tonight, I might stream this. Um, but yeah, with some more stability patches and just uh, adjustments. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's check the options. I haven't really looked into this. So general, ah, so we have an autosave. Every five minutes, field of view, I'm going to crank that up a little bit. I'm more of kind of like an 85, 90 kind of guy. Reticle, yeah. Head bob, don't care too much about that, but that's probably not a big deal. Okay, so let's apply that. Graphics. So for starters, I might see if there's a gamma slider here. Uh, I'm just going to turn off film grain. No mer motion blur. Great. So they don't have that to begin with. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a... Um, it doesn't look like there's any uh, way of upping the gamma, which makes sense. You kind of you kind of need these games to be dark, but at the same time, it was actually kind of a neat transition there. Uh, fields of view. Yeah, I I like this game. It just it needs stability. Like it's got a bunch of kind of negative reviews on on Steam right now. Uh, but honestly, I think this game is not nearly as bad as people are probably making it out to be. I, it's just, but it does it does crash when it it launches, which is actually a serious problem. So I will I will definitely throw that in uh, against it. I can't wait to play more. And now that I now that I'm not gonna be a complete wuss, this should help a, help out a lot. I wonder if um I wonder if we can find our uh, our dead body. And loot it. That's an interesting question as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of questions that remain to be uh, that will be have to be answered on the next next session episode, whatever you want to call it. Fortunately, it feels like I'm just kind of looting things. I don't know if the uh, resources are procedurally generated or not. Not. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm having a I'm having trouble tearing myself away. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pamela. But I guess before I go. Uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, uh, leave me a like. Helps more than you know, and I promise I will be uh, braver for next next session. Now that now that we know uh, you can hear them coming, it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make getting around a lot easier. And I won't pick any fist fights with robots. That seems like a generally smart idea. We can get a better flashlight. Oh, hey, speaking of, we didn't have our flashlight running, and games games crashing. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, but yeah, so if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because yeah, this actually seems like a survival game I'm interested in playing. It's kind of, ro it's the combination of like roguelike mechanics, uh, really beautiful set pieces, sort of, I don't know. Uh, I think it looks nice, and so on and so forth, actually is made for kind of a nice experience here. I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, it doesn't stay punishing forever. It looks like uh, anything that I can interact with is actually broken right now, like the, the scanner's not working, so I'm gonna have to relaunch the game. Well, that makes for a fine stopping point. So, like I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching. And it froze. <laughs>